I'm a lifelong fan of Edwin A. Abbott's Flatland, which tells the story of A Square, literally a square who lives in a two-dimensional world eponymously called Flatland. He's visited by A Sphere, who blows his mind with the third dimension. Flatland is full of social commentary, most of which went way over my middle school aged head, but more importantly, A Square's journey helps us understand our own spaceland and imagine a fourth spatial dimension by analogy. So what is a spatial dimension? A dimension is an axis, or a direction that is perpendicular to all other directions. It's easy to see analogies between dimensions with analogous shapes. A 0D point can be smeared along a new axis to form a 1D line. A line can be smeared to form a 2D square. Squares can be smeared, or better, stacked, to form a 3D cube. I don't know the best term for smearing cubes, so let's just say, cubes can be conflopulated on a new axis to form this, a 4D hypercube. This one's tricky, not only because we aren't familiar with a fourth spatial dimension, but because this 2D video image isn't very good at projecting one. On the other hand, two dimensions are good at projecting a third spatial dimension, with a number of illusions. Objects off the focal point of a camera or an eye's lens appear blurry. Knowing how light plays on objects allows a circle to become a sketched sphere. Objects of similar size appear smaller with distance. Upon motion, near objects appear to pass quicker than far objects, which became a common way to add depth to video games in the 16-bit era. The reason these illusions work on us is because we're constantly practicing them. We never really see 3D. Flatlanders perceive two dimensions with their 1D eye. We see a pair of 2D images, which our brains compare to give us perception of 3D depth. This is called stereoscopy. If you can trick your eyes to relax into a more parallel focus, just like with the Magic Eye Book, you can see me in stereoscopic depth here. 3D movies use special lenses to force feed each of our eyes a different image, exploiting the stereoscopic functions of our brains. With the advent of the animated GIF, the wiggle method became a simple way to show the depth of a stereoscopic pair. With true 3D eyes, we would see every part of a 3D space, inside and out. When A Square moved up for the first time, he was shocked to see the guts of his fellow Flatlanders. We would see the same of our Spaceland friends with 3D eyes from a 4D point of view. It always used to make me mad when people would say the fourth dimension is time. I've heard of a concept called space-time, but let's leave that for now. Space-time is a model with time as one of the axes on a graph, and it doesn't rule out a fourth spatial dimension, conceptually. When we draw a graph, we choose what goes on its axes. Of course, we could map time as a spatial dimension, leaving a trail of history down a higher dimensional timeline. It's interesting to imagine that applied to our spaceland. All of history in a conflopulation of universes, just passing through our modest little 3D now.